Good morning, and what a good morning it is indeed. I am here in Watertown. Uh, it is almost uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm here to catch one of the most elusive types of buses in all of Boston. They are so-called trackless trolleys, or what we all really know as trolley buses. <laughs> Yeah, so you heard that right. Uh, I am here to catch the trolley bus, the trackless trolley, which is a bus that runs uh, on electric wires. Now technically the Silver Line is a trolley bus, trackless trolley, but uh, I'm gonna be honest in that it's such a small section of it. Um, this is the legacy system that's been around for such a long time. It's really an interesting little network that um, fans out of the central Harvard bus tunnel. Um, and it just seems like this really interesting network. So I'm here today specifically to catch the 71 bus, but I'm gonna take that to Mount Auburn Cemetery where I'm going to catch a very interesting bus. What I think might be one of the rarest buses in all of Boston is the 72, which is technically scheduled as part of the 75, which makes four morning peak trips from Mount Auburn Cemetery to Harvard Square, and then seven evening peak trips from Harvard Square to Mount Auburn. Let's get on the bus. So yeah, that was, um, I would say, an interesting experience for me at least. Um, it's definitely, I've never ridden a, uh, a trolley bus before, at least not that I can personally remember, so it's definitely um, a bit of a, a first. But I will say, there were a couple of things that I thought were really interesting. Um, first of all, there's a, the back doors are on both sides. Couldn't tell you why, but it just is something that it has that's kind of interesting. Um, this is a very little nerdy thing, but the seats are beige instead of blue. Um, and then the only other thing that really stuck out to me was just that the bus is really quiet. Um, it made it incredibly awkward when the bus was stopped that it was just absolutely silent um, and I felt like I could hear, you know, hear any little thing. The biggest thing, and you can probably tell from the lack of footage that I took, um, is that it's a very, very popular bus route. I mean, the bus um, already had about 10 people getting on it at um, Watertown and the bus was almost completely full in terms of seating room and there were people standing um, just because of COVID and social distancing um, by the time that, you know, I got off. I am here at Mount Auburn Cemetery and Aberdeen Avenue where all of the wires overhead interconnect and I should be able to catch a bus in about half an hour that is one of the rarest buses I can find in Boston. I wanted to give just a little bit of background on the trackless trolleys because I think the history is really interesting and also the way that they operate today is just as interesting as well. So there's four routes that um, exist from what were, I don't know how many routes off the top of my head, but um, a fleet of over 463 trackless trolleys at the height in Boston. It was the third largest um, trolley bus system in the United States at the time that it was at its peak. Um, and today there's only four routes that still exist. That is the 71, 72, 73, and 77A. Um, the 71 and 73 are very popular. I mean, um, the 71 comes every 10 minutes. I don't know about the 73, but in that trackless trolley map, they're both listed together. So those two are very popular because they take people from Watertown and Belmont down uh, and in to uh, Harvard where you can then get on a train to downtown. It's a very efficient system, and I really do think that having them be electric is a big benefit. Um, meanwhile, the 72, which I'm waiting for, very, very limited service, and you can understand why, because it's technically scheduled as a branch of the 75 bus, which is just a normal diesel bus that literally runs a couple blocks, blocks up that way. There's only one stop that the 72 has uniquely, as far as I can tell, and it's right here where you can get on the 71 or 73 just as easily, much more frequently. So why this bus is operating is a bit of a mystery to me, but it does operate. 
Um, the only other route, as I mentioned, is the 77A, which I also don't think is as popular as the 71 or 73, although don't quote me on that. Um, I just don't think it can be, because it's a short turn version, hence the A, of the regular 77 bus, which also operates diesel, operates farther, um, operates more frequently. There is an expectation that by 2023 they will all be converted to battery electric buses. Um, so it's a really interesting little remnant of a network. I honestly think that, you know, based on my knowledge and limited experience with trolley buses, it's a really positive thing that you can have these electrically powered buses that are more reliable than a battery, they don't have to constantly charge, and based on my experience riding the 71, it was able to switch back and forth to both lanes that the wire was centered over incredibly easily. So I really think that this is a pretty good system, um, and I'm sure that it's something that if there were more of them in Boston, it would probably be kept. But for the time being, we're left with these pretty unique routes. As expected, I am the only person on the bus. And uh, also as expected, kinda, it's not a trolley bus. It's it just not. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't know what I was expecting because it is signed as part of the 75 and you know, uh, makes sense, but it is a little bit of a letdown. I was really hoping to uh, to see something else today, but you know what? It's still fine. It's still a unique little bus route. I'm gonna call it unique. Um, I'm also, I don't know, I, I, I want to know more. So, um, obviously if you know anything, let me know, but I'm, I'm gonna contact somebody and try to figure out why this bus has trolley wires over it, but no trolley bus is running on it. And there goes a wonderful, wonderful bus operator. Um, yes, I didn't get a lot of footage during that ride, but it was just a normal MT MBTA bus. Um, but I did have an incredible conversation um, pretty much during the entire drive with my amazing bus operator, Jerry. And he told me a little bit about um, the system. So apparently the 72 bus just doesn't really exist anymore, despite the fact that it is on every single sign. Um, it seems like they just really do not operate any buses uh, along that route as trolley buses. Um, and what happens is the 75 bus will operate as a diesel 71 bus all the way to um, Aberdeen Avenue and Mount Auburn Avenue, at which point it switches into a 75 back to Harvard, and it basically does a little bit of a loop um, all the way around. So it's um, a service that doesn't exist anymore, and according to Jerry, um, and from the operator perspective, uh, it's actually much better that the buses are operated with the diesel or hybrid variant, just because with the wires, you have a pretty intense speed restriction at all times. Uh, you can't go more than 25 or 30 miles an hour, and when the wires are curved, you have to go extremely slow or risk just bringing the entire wires down. This happened, unfortunately, you know, it's not perfect. Uh, but I still made it here, still made a video, and I highly, highly recommend if you get the chance, come out here to Cambridge slash Watertown and ride the trackless trolleys while they are still here, because in a few years, they won't be here anymore, there'll be battery buses, um, and you can really just experience this, and maybe if you get on the 8.30 a.m. bus from Aberdeen Avenue in Mount Auburn, you'll meet my man, Jerry. So, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Oh,